Hi everybody, I'm Jess, your go-to Street Fighter bestie, and we're here taking a look at the special episode of Street Woman Fighter Vietnam, The Battle. So I was waiting for an English translation of some kind uh, before I watched, but I don't know if they're going to have it. But we do have this like Google Translate situation, so we'll try it. But we're here to look at the battles and have a good time. I have no idea really what to expect. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of battles that were not aired and that we get to see in a compilation here, so I'm very much intrigued at what this is going to be who is going to be repping from each crew against two which i always find to be very fun please keep in mind i am a professional choreographer and my scope lies within the toolkit of that more so than the battle scene i am affiliated with the battle scene heavily invested in different cultures within it but i am not an active battler nor do i adjudicate battles so please keep that in mind i'll keep it as an overview with some overlaps and things that i personally look at but we're here for a good time let's get into it That's fun. And I also wonder if they, if, is the trophy that big W thing? I mean, that's Street Woman Fighter, right? But music, thank you. We love music. Fun. I remember that. Hello, hello. See, I actually like how she rolled up her sweats. I never even thought to even try to do that with my own pants. So FED. Check from FED. Fun. Such a fun vibe. <laughs> Is she saying that she doesn't showcase a heavy performance? Ooh, I like the pockets on those pants too. They're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
ready. I actually don't mind it when leaders battle leaders. It feels, it makes sense. She's hitting quite pretty basic. Now check, here's always my note too. If you're gonna come across like you're completely disinterested, square up is really what I say. The slicing of the sword is ridiculous. It's hilarious. For the amount of times they use it on the show, you'd be drunk if you took a shot every time they use a fshing. She little hit there. <laughs> Check's fit is fitting. Like, I love the long sleeve white with her sweats. Come on, man. What are we doing? I still think my biggest note, I really wish that we just danced to the same song. They'll probably give it, they'll probably give it to Chuck. Well, sorry, who cares? The judges, who knows what they're gonna say. For me, my vote would go to Chuck for this already. She's showcasing more syncopation on the track that she's given. She's also showcased more dynamics, more texture exploration. The setup on the tusks are, are fun. I like her choice. I like the double up on the elbow was fun too. So they're both about equal, equal choice of like provoking, right? I mean, I have no qualms. Check, check did fine, you know. So that would probably be my, that'll be my vote here. Harry Wan, bless her. Bless her heart, man. Look at, cut open. Hey everyone, bless her freaking heart, bless her heart. I mean, if you don't know what you're looking at, of course you're going to tie it more often because you don't know what you're looking at. Mm. Also, this is a complete side note. So if you if you know on the Mnet side, they switched it up this year. They're not doing Street Fighter. They're doing Stage Fighter, which is a completely different format, as it should be. But I really am saying this right now. They better have... They, they can't get away with having an idol judge for that. For how, like, brutal they're making the structure of the audition side, they're going to get no respect from the dancers at all if they have anybody less than people who are certified to... Be that critical. And in the ballet world, you can find people quite easily, depending on the country, to go and be an adjudicator for that. They got people that speak English on there that don't know Korean. So I have no idea who's on the lineup for the judges on that. But they, they do not need to be pulling any idol work like what they're, or any like famous celebrity work for that. They can announce the challenges, which is what we saw in the trailer. They cannot be pulling that in this type of show like to determine battles. Like I really wish we learned our lesson here, but it feels like we're not. So Hari Won, I mean, as much as I want to like empathize, it's also like, it's, it's hard for me to, you know... She's getting her money. She's getting her money. Not that the problem is the system. It's not really the people. It's the system. But also, mm. no. Oh my god, is she saying literally she just wanted to see more? That is the biggest disrespect. As, as fun and fine and dandy it is here, the biggest disrespect you can make in the battle scene is to say that you want to tie it just because you want to see more. Um, remember Street Man Fighter elimination battles much? That I still bothers me to this day, and I know some of you really empathize, as it should bother us, the Bang Two Brothers and Prime King situation. That should not have happened, and that is a huge disrespect to the culture, which is another reason why we shouldn't have people in this position that shouldn't be in this position, because that's not a good enough reason, in my humble opinion. Oh, that's the reason why Harry is doing this. 
Thì ra là muốn no. có một tái đấu nữa đúng không ạ? À? No Nhưng mà thuyết âm mưu đó chưa thành công rồi <cười> I will never appreciate. That's not a good reason ever. That's funny. Chuck's favorite food is salad. <laughs> I think that's funny. Hmm. Love it. Come on. Who's she going for? Mm. I didn't even clock where her outfit was. I love her top. What if they picked from their um, own team? I think that would be really funny. But also, that's funny. Come on, Cole. Look at that. The excitement. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Cool, that was nice. Oh, she's CCing in between the legs. That was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Nice Harlem shake. dolphin action. It's just the dolphin, guys. I think your syncopation was more impressive, but hey, we pick our battles. Ha, literally. <laughs> oh, she said we we smoked you. choice the sword swipe shing I like that that was nice Shaq's holding it down pretty decently but it's more simple in the structure though little running man was cute isolation nothing crazy little chest pop little punch to finish I'd be giving it to so fire for that she had heavier musicality presence. She has some really nice moments in it. Uh, I can see them tying it. My vote would go to Sofire though, because musicality is a really, really big thing for me. <laughs> Chúng ta vẫn phải đến lúc đưa ra quyết định. Ba, ba. Hai. Một, ba, open. Of course she will. She is. She's gonna tie it. She's gonna tie it. Oh, 
she's wearing a Sturgis shirt. If you don't know what a Sturgis is, it's a motorcycle rally. Yeah, but come on, they dance at the same time. Okay. Ready. I love the amount of cheers for like the basic things. She did a front walkover, that was fun. But did it match on tempo? I don't know. The audio overly repeats like every three times. Ah! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. That's really funny. Little Nene was cute. So I thought that was fun. My butt would still go to so fire because I think that was more equally matched than the original round, so I would just go off of the original round voting for me. Oh, that was funny. That was a funny one. <laughs> See, he tied it there. So, so far, I am matching out the wazoo on Ute because I would have tied the rematch, but I would have voted for So Fire on the original. Is that it? No. I was about to say, I was like, I swore, I swore this was like 45 minutes. There is no way only two battles so made it this 45 minutes. Who's coming out? So they're showing the comments, I guess, of what people wanted to see. Yeah. Look at them. They're so funny. That was so funny. Because she's pretty. Bless it. Oh Lord. <laughs> ไม่เลยอย่างเลยหมกหงอกนี่มันเช็ดโรยแต่เอ็มกลับมาให้ยินหน่อยเอ็มนี่หนอกก็ก่อนรีซอร์ทเลยเนี่ยมาเกิดก
Yeah. I like how she's hitting, like how she's wearing her so fire uh, towel. I think it's fun. Phrasing's pretty decent, yeah. Okay. Keeping it pretty legato in the torso. Hmm, okay, what are we doing? Something to look at when you look at battles is utilization of groove. Because if you're just doing movement with no groove in styles that you're trying to justify, when a groove is vital to the authenticity of it, which is what you're seeing here, she doesn't really have any groove present. She's kind of keeping it isolated to the shoulders. A little body roll about it, though. Um, that that's a big note that I've had I've received but also I've noticed because I empathize with having to grow in that so my point being that like yes there's certain choreographies that you do where not having a groove uh, helps with justification of the concept you're going for or the movement qualities that you're using on the type of track. That's not what I'm talking about. In a freestyle lens on a street dance show, most of the time you're going to want to see a street dance presented. And so choreographers who may or may not have experience in diving into grooves, that will work against them. And it's, it's kind of something where it's good. you're going to operate at a disadvantage in a deficit in my personal opinion if you have no groove and you're dancing to a hip-hop beat and there's no rock bounce or groove I'm sorry you're not doing hip-hop do you know what I'm saying you're just doing movement that gives the impression of uh, of the vocabulary but there's no soul in it right hip-hop's a culture not a not a style do you know what I mean and it's not an umbrella term either and that's some, that's why I don't use hip-hop as an umbrella term because it's not um, and the commercial sense of things people use it but no because you guys are with me I hope you guys also find a sense of inspiration or curiosity to also learn these things for yourself too. Let me be an aid, but not your go. Like, I don't want to be the only thing that you listen to for some of this kind of stuff. I want you to be curious about it. So in my personal opinion, I mean, I would say that so far she established a groove by utilization of the chest and the shoulders through setting that up first going in. Now, was it pretty simple? I would say in some of her legato structure, yeah, but I would say, oops, did not have a presence of groove. And if you're not going to groove, at all, then you're not doing something like groovy, which I find funny. She did like animation influence and her boogaloo umbrella term is what I'm calling that under animation. But that's different, right? Like that's not the same thing as what Oops was trying to pull. So my vote is going to go to Sofire and that would be my reason if I was sitting in those chairs. Now remember, I'm not a battle judge and I'm perfectly content with staying in my lane as an analyst for choreography in an overview um, layman for battles. I'm still growing in that area. But I do stand firm on the belief of you got to have groove if you're trying to represent a style or a track that derives from a culture that has groove as a part of the authenticity of the product. Does that make sense? So that's why my vote would go to Sofire for this one. And that is the reason between the two. That I will win in 90 minutes. I know that's probably not the case. Which is fine. They can vote for whoever they want. And that's fine. Now, Oops had a, a smidgen more complexity, but the groove mattered more to me. Xin mời hai vũ công của chúng ta hãy gắn thẻ lên bảng nha. Tiêu chiến người ta xong xua. Có sao đâu? Không nói. Hôm nay chúng mình đã rất là xuất sắc nhận về ba phiếu thua. Xuất sắc nhận về ba phiếu thua xuất sắc chưa? Xuất sắc nhận về ba phiếu thua cho mọi người. Nên là hãy cùng đón chờ xem sau khi mà chúng mình nghỉ với làm xong chúng mình sẽ vũ công. G.U. This is Warrior! G.U.
Come on, miss ma'am. Let go. What are we doing? That's like the Billie Eilish hair kind of style where you got the vibrant color at the top and darker colors at the bottom. Did she say that this was the best battle to her? Mm. So it's a little check-in, okay. Let's play, is that what she said? Ready. She hit that, that was nice. I can see them pull a rematch for this one. There's that shing, there's that sound again. Take another drink. I'm just getting his coffee. <laughs> that was, I didn't mind it. I could see a rematch pull out of that one. That'd be hard for me to choose, so I'd hold up both. Okay. Cool. Let me also say for me in my head, mm, whenever people beat kill, is what we call that, when she gets that, duh, 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 like, it doesn't, I guess, like, well, who was it? It was one of the previous battles that we saw. I forgot who it was. Um, maybe it was So Fire? I don't remember. But... I really liked how they beat killed in here. Like, I didn't mind it. Maybe it's, like, in my head. Mm, part of me wishes that they weren't as familiar with these tracks as them giving the playlist to the DJ of some options. And when if a song plays that works in their favor, it works, you know? Part of me always likes the organicness of an exchange where you both get the same song. Good luck, you know? I feel like that definitely is a more... Uh, authentic representation of the culture that you're that you're showcasing here and I, I think it just goes back to too that um, one of the things that I think has been a saddening aspect of the Street Fighter franchise in general is how they've structured the battles it feels like we're teaching the public what battles are and these are so not that like the call out part sure but the dancing on your own track that you know no that's not how that works at all most of the time it's a song you don't know because it's specially mixed by the dj or if you do know it it's remixed so it's you know what i'm saying so 
I don't know. So like, I don't mind. It makes sense why she won. She had some, she had some beat kill moments and that totally makes sense. And they both utilize the, the floor and things like that. You know, I don't really have a lot of qualms with it, but I would have seen if they rematched that, it wouldn't surprise me either. I would have started doing this on her though. Yeah. Oh, that was so sad. Oh. So what also sucks too. Oh. What sucks is that SS Warriors is not going to get nearly as many battles as most people because they're an intimidating group that most people don't want to battle anyway. So their their checks and balances between wins and losses is way harder for them than most groups for that reason. I really do like these diamonds right here, whatever she's got right there. That's cute. Aww. Oh, that's right. If it's somebody else, she'll just get revenge for her. Sure. Mm. Hanoi is girl. Hanoi girls. Bye. So cute. That was cute. Very brave. Và em cũng mong muốn được đấu với một người chị cũng là một người rất là giỏi trong mắt em. Và vũ công mà em muốn đánh bại ngày hôm nay là Let's go. <laughs> Upside down too. So funny. And we've already had this conversation. Yeah, it's like we've already had the conversation. Not the not the time and place to to be sentimental. I think the best time and place is is like 
after elimination battles. I think that's where, like, we can be truly, um, what's the word? A little bit more genuine. Um, or, like, the longer we're on the show. Not first meetings, honestly. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll be counting that too. Mm hmm. It's funny that they count it too. That was cute. I'll probably, I'd probably go with, I'd probably go with, um, Cole on that. Mm, because I would say with Hanoi, she did, she did repeat quite a lot. They rode pretty similarly, but I would say that Cole had, she had more variety in the beginning and how she set it up, so, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Xin hỏi chị Dư Lâm Anh ạ Ý kiến về phần đấu vừa rồi Kiểu mình đã có một cái trận trước đấy rồi em Trận đấy là trận underground của em Vâng ạ à, Nên là cái tinh thần mà khi mà mình gặp nhau ở một cái trận đấu mới ấy, Bao giờ mình muốn là mình chứng minh mình rất nhiều Nhưng mà ở cái trận này chị lại thích cái uh, cái cách của cậu ấy Có nghĩa là mình cũng rất chiến, mình cũng rất muốn thắng Nhưng mà em giữ được cái độ điềm tĩnh khi mà đối mặt với cả uh, đối thủ của mình Đó, cái đấy là cái cũng rất là hay Nhưng mà phía bên uh, bạn Ke thì làm cũng rất là tốt Tức là mình không có nhiều kinh nghiệm bằng chị cổ Nhưng mà mình cũng rất là chiến Tuy nhiên là chị nghĩ rằng là à, Hai là dùng cái động tác mà đá chân vào mặt đối phương ấy, nó, nó hơi lặng Thì chị nghĩ là không nên Nên mình sẽ dùng những cái khác nhau một xíu Thì nó sẽ hay hơn Cảm ơn chị Dạ Lâm Anh Và xin mời chị Harry Wong Kê thì cũng là nhỏ tối đúng không? Đúng không? Đúng không? Đúng không? Đúng không? Đúng không? 2K5 Ôi trời ơi, 2K5 có hai người Đó, nhỏ tuổi cũng năng lượng Nhưng mà cái đúng là động tác không thể nào mà bằng mấy chị lớn được Người ta người ta cũng tập rất là lâu Nó hơi có những cái nhịp Nhịp mà nó không có chắc á ừ, Mình cảm thấy nó hơi thiếu cái đó Tức là cái động tác nó mình phải bùng bùng thì mình chưa cảm thấy là nó 
hơi hơi kiểu như giống như chị vậy đó 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 thì thật ra thì chị cũng biết là cái đó rất là khó thì chúng ta phải vượt qua bản thân mình cái đó thôi còn phụ thì rất là chốc và đó chị có biết là ra là chị có biết chết thôi chứ làm gì nữa I have no idea what she just said okay uh, in my head it gave the impression what was it that she um, said that you're only 19, so the other girls, they've been, because they're older, they're going to be better than you. It's what it kind of gave the impression, and for me, I always come from the position, it is quality of training over quantity of training all the freaking time. There are so many people younger than me that could dance circles around me. I'm okay with that. I, I understand the beauty of the craft. I love being able to celebrate it, and also, I feel like it's really, age is really only a number in a lot of circumstances. Some of it, it does matter. <laughs> Does that make sense? I would say over as you get older, there is naturally you're going to have more experience, especially if you have similar experiences in, in the upbringing. But I will say like somebody saying, oh, you're younger than me, so I'm obviously better. That's stupid. Honestly, that's a very stupid way to think um, because you, what you're doing is you're showcasing how ignorant you are in how the world works. Like truly, I feel like there's always going to be somebody younger and better than you in every facet. Now, are you going to be younger and better than somebody else? Yeah, probably. Do you know what I mean? I hope, like, I know that sounds a bit aggressive, but that kind of mindset, like, I don't know if that's what Hari Wan said, but if that is what she said, that is, once again, not a good reason for justification why FED was better than a Hanoi Girls. No, it's just say, like, there's probably somebody younger than FED that can wipe the floor with them in a battle context and in a choreography context. It That, that, that part's not the, not the point, right? So, all that to say, I really think somebody's age of experience i would say the experience i like how long they've been doing something more so than the actual physical age they are i think matters a lot more in my personal neck of the woods of things um you know anyway i don't know i don't know if that's even what she said so i don't know if i just said that with no basis to say it but i do think it's an important point because i do think in stage fighter that got brought up because when you deal with the korean side you have the hierarchy of course of age is a big thing and i already touched on that there it doesn't matter your age a lot of times. If someone's good and they're better than you, then they're better than you. Like, that's how the ballet world works, you know? But anyway, I digress. Ở trận này thì chị cũng thấy là khá là ngang tài ngang sức đấy Tuy nhiên là cái thể loại của Ki vừa mới nhảy nó sẽ nó có cái màu đặc biệt hơn so với từ đầu đến giờ Cho nên là uh, chị sẽ chọn cho Ki Chị sẽ lâm anh chấm thắng một điểm cho Ki Đơn giản chỉ vì mới thôi nên là mình cũng chưa có phục lắm She's red flag. Oh my god, that's funny. 
Nếu mà nói là người chị thì cũng chưa chắc Bởi vì chị chưa làm chị của em được ngày nào cả Em cũng là gọi con Gina là con Chloe Trong bớt cái này cũng rất là Rất muốn luôn Thì em cũng hơi sốc You're only gonna have to give me more context on this because these subtitles ain't subbing. Ready? Fight! Fight! saying listen to your music I think out of all battles, I mean, outside of that 2v2 uh, worst answer battle that I saw, I think this was my most underwhelming one I think I watched. All you, I mean, we yeah. just saw some Imni key, syncop well, not even, none of it was really syncopated. I would say maybe FED at best, but I would make them rematch because both were so underwhelming to me and what they were choosing to do to their tracks. How FED set hers up wasn't the most effective, but she may win. I don't know. Open. Yay! I would tie it, honestly. Có vẻ lúc đầu sẽ tưởng chừng là một giờ sự chiến thắng áp đảo nhưng mà Wu Thi đã có một cái sự cân bằng cho điểm cân bằng giữa hai người nhưng một lần nữa vẫn chúc mừng Lưu và FPT để giành chiến thắng với hai thẻ đến từ giám khảo Marigold và giám khảo Diệp Lâm Anh. Trước tiên là chị phải đồng ý với cái việc rằng là mình không cần biết rằng là cái kỹ năng của mình đến đâu nhưng mà mình muốn đấu thì mình cứ đấu thế thôi. Thì cái đấy là cái tinh thần rất là tốt Còn à, thực sự là à, nếu mà ở khía cạnh của Giới Lâm Anh nhìn thấy thì là Chloe đứng trên một cái sân đấu thì thứ nhất chị đồng ý à, là thiếu tự tin Ngược lại thì Lu lại cái năng lượng mang tới nó quá mạnh Cho nên là cái phần thi đấu này chị nghĩ là nghiêng rất nhiều về bên phía Lu She said in this competition, you're conf well, technically she's following through on what she said she was looking for. They didn't say that they were looking for technique. They were looking for confidence, passion, stuff like that. And so she's technically following through and saying uh, FBD had more confidence, so that's why I voted for her. So she's justified in her own criteria that she set, which is not inherently wrong. I just I just don't think it's great criteria to begin with. Already, um, nhiều động tác cũng hay nhưng mà vấn đề là cái cảm giác là do là thiếu tự tin đó, cho nên cái động tác nó không có tắt được cái right. cảm giác Harry có cái cảm nhận là làm vậy có được không làm vậy có được không cái cảm nhận của Harry là nó vậy. Thật ra She also had her shoulders đó, really high, high up for a lot of it. Chắc chắn là phục thù rồi. Chắc chắn là Chloe muốn chúng mình. I don't think I've seen glasses like that before. Well, no, I've seen some that go from like shaded to clear. I haven't seen that shape before. It's so fascinating.
Và nhiều năm tập luyện giúp ta thì đôi lúc chỉ bước lên sân khấu để có được khoảng 40 giây một phút để đấu với đối thủ thôi Cho nên chúng ta phải tranh thủ hết mình mà bung hết tất cả những gì chúng ta có Chứ cũng không nên suy nghĩ là nên làm gì và phải như thế nào nữa đúng không ạ? Đây cũng là một cái kinh nghiệm dành cho tất cả các bạn khi bước lên sàn đấu lần này Maybe have one more set of battles, I think is what it looks like. No, we don't. We still don't even get to see all of them. At least for winning, we should have seen all of SS Warriors battles, right? I don't think we did. <laughs> Sal was such a target. Look at 13, 8, 8, 10. When? A win? Let's go. I think, was it, didn't Groovy? She, uh, her, she lost her battle and I remember that was the one I was like, it's wild. So, I'm glad they still won though. She's like, keep time, listen to your music. That's what that was. Với một người ít kinh nghiệm bắt đầu như mình thì mình đã làm hết sức mình rồi và mình thể hiện như vậy là mình cũng đã gây được cho họ ấn tượng, có thể là xóa đi được. Cái định kiến đầu tiên ban đầu của mọi người đối với mình rồi Chắc là không không quá áp lực Nhưng mà với mình thì trận đấu nào cũng rất là nghiêm túc Và mọi người có thể thấy là khi bắt đầu I love the little red buttons, that's cute Em cảm thấy rất là vui Vì đã vượt qua phần gọi là thử thách khó nhất Đối với bọn em Thách diện về nhóm mình Bởi vì đây là đầu tiên Cả nhóm mình bắt đầu chung với nhau Mà đã được một cái kết quả rất là ngoài mong muốn như thế thì bọn mình chuyên choreography thì bọn mình cũng bằng một nhóm chuyên freestyle Thì sự đây là một cái rất là respect lớn cho tất cả các thành viên trong nhóm Mình cảm thấy hài lòng khi mà Hà Nội Sơn cũng không phải nhất và cũng không phải best Mình thấy đây là một cái kết quả an toàn dành cho team mình Safe vòng lần này. Bởi vì vòng lần này thì nó sẽ không có kết quả ảnh hưởng quá nhiều cho đến những cái vòng sau Mà chỉ là một chút khởi động cho mọi người chính thức bước vào cuộc chiến lần này không năm kinh nghiệm trong nhảy mà lần đầu bắt đầu thì mình thấy đây là cái thành công đầu tiên của cuộc đời mình chúng mình đã đem về vinh dự đem về I'm glad that we get to grow and that's cool nhưng mà vô cùng buồn vì có tận 6 trận thắng không biết được nói chung là không thể nào mà chúng mình nói được trước mình gì hẹn là mọi người ở các những phần sau nhé hôm nay chúng mình rất mệt rồi bye so she said, bah. Yeah, I mean, that was, it was pretty, it was what I was expecting, I think. Not, not as aggressive as a, some other stuff. That's right, Bada's coming in, isn't she? We all know. Yes, ma'am! Let's go! We're here for it. And now Wu Tae has a friend. <laughs> so I guess she's the one that's judging the K pop challenge, which I think is great. Honestly, I mean, I mean, Team Bebe, did, they won against Upa Kel, but that was a really good. Uh, 
line up between the two, honestly. I mean, Bebe ended up winning Street Womb Fighter Season 2, so she's a great judge for it, honestly. I mean, in a nutshell, like I said, nothing surprising here, nothing crazy. It does make me look forward to the next episode, of course. I love being able to, I love being able to see Bada um, live it up, and I hope those subtitles are subbing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I apologize for the delay on this one. I was waiting for subs. They didn't happen, but we're here enjoying it nonetheless. I will be a smidgen late on the next episode. The reason why is because I will be out of town, but I do have a spot where I do get to do some recording, but it's going to be a day later. So please be patient with me um, with the next episode. It is not because I am, un it's, it's not because that I just don't want to do it. I literally can't because of my work that I have that day. It's just unavoidable. So I, I am making it a priority though for the weekend. So you will see it within, you know, hopefully within 48 hours. But anyway, you guys know me. I know you. I'm Jess and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.